This is V Trades, and today I'll be doing a technical analysis breakdown for Square. The last time I looked at this company was back on July 17th, so I have a month's worth of price action to discuss. Before we begin, please take a second to give the video a like and subscribe for more chart analysis. Also, thank you to those who already subscribed and like my videos, it means a lot. Just a reminder that this video is for entertainment purposes only and does not constitute any financial advice. We will start out the technical analysis by going over what I've seen in the daily chart and potential price targets. Then we will wrap it up by looking over the long term pattern on the weekly chart. So the first thing I'm going to do is put a vertical line on where it left off, which was on July 17th. So we're going to use the 16th because it looks like I did that analysis on the weekend. So what happened was exactly what I as I predicted that we were going to go up to the highs and maybe even make a new high since we had a failed breakout on the lower side of the range, which I'm going to show you right now. So the way a range works is that prices move from the lows to the highs and from the highs to the lows. And if I map it out with the, um, a channel, um, a sideways channel, you can see how that works. So we go from the highs to the lows and lows to the highs. We keep on doing that. So if we do something like this where we have a push outside of it, then we're probably going to get a push outside on the opposite side because the market is symmetrical. It pretty much likes to do the opposite thing. And, you know, it's just mathematical. It likes to do the same pattern on the other side. So that's exactly what happened. We were moving up from the lower side. And since we had that push outside, most likely we were going to get that push outside on the upper side. And that's exactly what happened. So normally um, these pushes outside are called fail breakouts because um, whatever you have, a range is kind of like a magnet. It kind of wants to hold prices within this uh, bounds. So if we get a push outside, it's most likely going to fail. And same thing will happen over here. We just got a fail breakout to stop out the longs, uh, excuse me, the shorts who had the stop losses up here. And that's what happened. So price was trending up right here. And this is the channel that price was trending up inside of. It's just pretty much a sideways range. I'm going to go ahead and change the color. Let's go ahead and make it yellow for visibility reasons. And then what price did was it looks like it was inside of a smaller range, right? Right here. And it pretty much did the same repeat pattern as this bigger range. So what happened was that price failed at the top side with this red candle and then it failed at the bottom side. So kind of what happened here, we failed at the top side and then we failed at the bottom side and then we went up. So this this is pretty much perfect price action where the uptrend had a break outside right here with this green candle and le it led up to two legs to a new high. That's pretty much perfect price action. So here's the first leg up and here's the second leg up. So that's what we call perfect price action. That's just tech textbook right here. And then uh, we made that new high. So this pretty much marks the end of the uptrend. So now we're coming back to the lower side of the channel uh, or the range, excuse me. So that looks like uh, what we're going to do. Let me go and turn this down. So it looks like we're in this downtrend channel now. That's why we're continuing lower. There's so many about, let's say, seven, eight bars just going down, down, down. Why? Because we just came off the high side. Just like what happened here. Uh, red bars, red bars. And probably going to do the same thing over here. We're just going to continue lower. So my target is around here, the lower side of the range. We just have to wait and see what happens. It could just come over here to the mid side of the range where these dashed lines are and just bounce back up to the upper side. So we don't really know, but most likely uh, the target I'm shooting for is this one right here. If nothing changes, this is where price most likely wants to reach just because we had a break outside and two legs up to new high. So that pretty much marks the end of the uptrend. And also if I zoom in a little closer, now we're kind of getting uh, rejected by EMA. See how we pushed through it. And then this, um, this red bar right here, this tail bar was green. See how it trended back up here but it closed back on the low. So this was a green bar before. That's why we see this wick and then it closed on the low. So now we're kind of getting rejected by EMA, kind of like this. Boom. So it's probably going to stay within this uh, yellow channel, continue lower. And the first target I see is the 249 level. And then if it doesn't find support there, we're probably just going to continue trend lower um, all the way to the $200 level. But that could take a couple weeks to um, probably the end of this year. We just have to wait and see. But that's pretty much my target. I'm not bullish anymore. I would change my bias now because the uptrend has ended and I would switch to being bearish just because that's what the technicals tell me. So that's everything I see on the daily chart. There's nothing else to talk about. We were um, in an uptrend. Then we had that fail breakout on the weekend uh, uh, when the market opened up on Monday, excuse me. And then they use this earnings to pop it up even further. 
so we had the first leg up and then if I move the uh, arrow over it's pretty much a perfect measured move of the first leg and then it went right up to the highs and even made a new high but it was a failed breakout and we fell back inside of the range which is not a good sign for the longs so it looks like we're just we're gonna work back lower uh, slowly to um, the lower side of the range and the way you can do it is like um, kind of like a just slow choppiness like this it's not gonna just go in a straight line it could do something like this where you just went a straight line but it could be something like this we just go slowly chopping down to the lower side of the channel but that's pretty much my next target so i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the weekly chart now and just to let you guys know i don't have a crystal ball or anything i don't i'm not the one that moves the markets i just um go by the book and uh, think in probabilities what is most likely to happen and usually it happens so we had that break outside and lower side of the range and it led to a break outside and upper side of the range and a new high so and we had two legs up so that's pretty much perfect price action the the patterns repeat over and over again and if you just uh, pay attention you'll see it yourself so what do i see on the weekly chart it looks like we just had a triple top so this is known as a triple top uh, which is pretty bearish it's kind of like a reversal pattern if it's an uptrend so we had that one high this is the second high and this was the triple top the triple test or excuse me it was a double test of this high right here the first one so this is pretty bearish um, price chart I go up a few times and it fails so most likely it's going to do the opposite. So on the weekly chart it looks like we can fall back on the lower side of the range right around here. This $200 level. But in the short term we'll probably just pull back to the EMA right here which is about the $245 level. So we just got to wait and see what he wants to do next. But that's pretty much my analysis um, for Square on the daily and weekly chart. Thank you for stopping by and checking out my video. Make sure to check out the rest of the channel since you might be surprised on what you can learn. Leave a comment down below on where you think prices are headed. Also, share the video with a bunch of friends to learn about the markets. Lastly, I appreciate any feedback to help improve the channel since I want to deliver great content to you guys. See you next time and bye.